Hi, my name is Ginger, and I wanted to share about a uh, personal testimony uh, that I went through when I was 18 years old. I got pregnant when I was 18 by somebody who was still in high school. Uh, he was a year younger than me. He had a year to go in high school. And um, what happened is I got pregnant, and um, I knew that abortion was wrong. Um, everything in me told me that abortion was wrong and so I decided like immediately that even though this baby was uh, you know um, born uh, you know we even though I had sex before marriage to, and this baby was conceived uh, you know um, that way I um, still wanted to keep the baby and I do believe that adoption is fine it's a good uh, option but I am against abortion I believe it is murder because the scriptures tell us not to murder okay and a baby is a human life when you give birth it's not a monkey right it's not a dog or a cat it's a human that comes out so we know that's a human inside of us growing uh, if a woman is pregnant so um, the reason I wanted to share uh, about my experience when I was 18 is because I feel that a lot of people, uh, a lot of women when they are young, they feel overwhelmed and Planned Parenthood likes to tell you that there's a blob of tissue in there and that it's just removing a blob. Well, that's a lie because at conception it is a baby. When the sperm meets the egg and implants, it is a baby. Okay, it's in the first stages, but it's still a baby. And uh, so you don't want to kill it at any stage. You don't want to have it killed at any stage. And uh, so anyway, somebody, um, I'll just go ahead and say who it was. My, uh, my boyfriend's mother wanted me to kill the baby, to abort the baby. And she told me that I should abort the baby. And she told my fiance because we decided to get married uh, to abort it well I said no way I told um, the baby's dad I said I love you and I want to marry you but um, if you don't want me and you don't you know want to be with me I will deal with it but I am not killing the baby and I will raise it on my own if I have to. And um, I had a job, um, and I wasn't making very much. I was making minimum wage, but I would find a way, even if I had to shop at thrift stores. The, it's whole life. I would, you know, even if I had to just have beans and rice to eat. I would, as long as we were eating and we were clothed. I would take care of that baby. And so, um, you know, if I had to go to food banks, I would, but I wasn't going to kill it. So I told um, his mother, who wanted me to abort the baby, I said no. And I love his mother, sh sh I do, and I forgive her for suggesting that. But um, anyway, I wanted to tell you that I did carry the baby to term, and I gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. And he is now 30 years old. I'm going to be 50 next month. And he has been such a joy. And I am so happy that I did not abort him. He has been uh, hilarious. He has a great sense of humor. He can always make me laugh. Every single time I talk to him on the phone, he makes me laugh. He lives in Texas with his wife. And his wife is going to have a baby around my birthday. Um, and I'm really excited about that, of being a grandma again. My my daughter that I had uh, a couple years later, after I gave birth to Matthew, my son, when I was um, um, 18, uh, I gave birth a few years later to um, my daughter, Nikki. And uh, she has two children. And she's married and has two children. So, um, you know. So I'll be a grandma again. But I just wanted to share this video because I know a lot of people, when they are teenagers, they feel pressured by family, 
by maybe the baby's uh, mother or father or maybe by their own mother but you have to push off those lies and you have to tell yourself even if you had to work at McDonald's it, I mean you will provide for that baby and or place the baby for adoption that is a loving option if you really um, you know just um, really if you feel very strongly about placing the baby for adoption that is a loving option you can find um, if you're a Christian you can find a Christian home sometimes there's even open adoption where you can actually still get pictures of the child or sometimes even visit the child in an open adoption if that's what you would want um, but do not kill the baby I have heard many people who um, deeply regret killing having their baby killed through abortion um, most people uh, are terribly terribly hurt inside because they realize they have murdered they have allowed their baby to be murdered and they have terrible deep regrets and sometimes nightmares and sometimes they can never have a baby again because sometimes it scars the uterus because uh, when they take the instrument and go up into uh, first they dilate the cervix very fast um, and that's unnatural so it makes an incompetent cervix for when you do want to have a baby sometimes they have to sew it tight so that it'll hold the baby in when you do want to someday be pregnant and so um, and also if they do a suction abortion sometimes when they're taking the vacuum and they go up in there into the uterus and they they suck the baby out and they sometimes put a lot of scar tissue on the inner wall of your uterus so that when you do want to have a baby someday that uh, fertilized uh, egg when the sperm goes into the egg and it's, it's fertilized and it travels up and tries to implant into the uterus it can't sometimes because there's too much scar tissue so you might never be able to have a baby again if you if you abort so you you know these are just some things that people find out later sometimes and uh, they go through this their life sometimes without a baby or sometimes they go through their life um, you know with the cancer the risk of cancer is higher on uh, when someone gets an abortion you can google that and research that and see if that is true um, so it is not a blob of tissue that is a baby inside of you if you are pregnant and you should either keep the baby and raise it or place the baby for adoption um, you will regret an abortion if you get one it's murder it will haunt you some women for I know a woman I love her dearly her name I won't give it out but she has cried for over 20 years because of the abortion that she had done and she always wondered if that was her daughter she had four sons she was actually not a teenager when she decided to get an abortion she was um, I think in her 30s and sometimes even people in their 30s feel pressured sometimes they feel like they have too many children already or that they can't afford it or whatever and they they make excuses and we're not to make excuses because father the father the creator will provide for us if we are pregnant he will provide for us and, and if we are his child if we have accepted the Messiah into our life and the Messiah is our way to father he's known as Jesus and or the Hebrew name the literal Hebrew name is Yahusha some say Yeshua but I pronounce it Yah Yahusha um, or you can say Jesus that's what uh, the King James says but if you accept the Messiah into your heart you become a child of of um, the Creator and he will hear your prayers and he will take care of you it says he has never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread and so you would not have to beg for bread he would provide for you okay so don't fear don't let fear enter and just push off the stupid thoughts um, the enemy would like to deceive you and tell you that you can't make it or that this baby will be troublesome even if this baby has down syndrome you should keep the baby and not kill it even if the baby has m missing limbs or maybe no eyes is blind or is deaf that's okay have the baby it's still special 
father makes everybody. Everybody is knit together in their mother's womb by the father, the creator. And we should not kill it no matter what. So I wanted to bring this video because I know that there are, um, I think it's every 30 seconds a baby dies in the world through abortion. It's just horrible. All these beautiful babies have their life has been snuffed out and um you know you'll always wonder what was my what would have my life been like if you get an abortion you'll always wonder wow my baby could have put its arms around my neck and hugged me and said I love you mommy and you'll never ever hear those words if you get an abortion from that child you'll never hear those words so don't give in to the enemy's voice that says to get an abortion. Don't listen to Planned Parenthood. They lie to people. They say it's a blob of tissue, um, and it's not. It's not a blob of tissue. It's not a wart. It's not just something you can just remove, and then you just go on your merry way. Most people have nightmares if they get one. Most people actually go into depression. Some people get suicidal if they have a, an abortion, and... So I just encourage you, if you are pregnant, no matter what age you are, even if you're 13 years old, even if you're 12 years old, give that baby up for adoption or raise it. And there are churches that will help you, uh, Christian churches that will help you. Um, there are sometimes ministries called the Crisis Pregnancy Center. It's a Christian ministry. Um, and they sometimes give free cribs and bibs and little uh, shoes and socks and onesies and things, sometimes diapers and baby food. You can get things donated to you if you need that help. So don't make an excuse that you won't have enough money because there are people who love you. And Father, the Father of all, the Creator, will provide for you. So don't be overwhelmed. Just... Uh, you know, we have all made mistakes before, and if you have uh, had sex before marriage, it is a sin, according to the Bible. So you have to ask for forgiveness of that sin, but you don't kill the sin by aborting the baby. You don't, that, the baby's not a sin. The sin was the fornication. The sin was the sex before marriage, but the baby is not to be killed because of our sin. We have to take responsibility and still let that baby live. Even if you were raped, still let that baby live because the father knits everybody together in their mother's womb, says in Psalm, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And your baby is fearfully and wonderfully made if you are pregnant. So I ask you and plead with you, please let your baby live. Give life to your baby and uh, let your life will be it will work out. There are ups and downs in life, and we just have to go through life trusting the Father and casting our cares on Him, for He cares for us. You can be saved if you accept the Messiah sincerely. That's the Son of the Father. You have to, He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through the Son, through Jesus. His Hebrew name is Yahusha. Okay, so you must accept the Son if you want to be saved. And you have to do it sincerely. Follow after Him. Follow after the Messiah. Okay, well, thank you for listening. I hope this has been of help to you. I'm so glad that I never got an abortion. I have three biological children, and then my husband and I adopted three children. And he has um, three children from a previous marriage. Okay, so I just wanted to share this. Um, children are a blessing. Children are so unique. Their personalities are so different from each other, and they're so special and unique. And your life is richer with children. So you be blessed, and you um, please carry your baby to term and either raise it or place it for adoption. Blessings to you. If you'd like to write to me, I'll, I will answer back to you. Um, and just feel free to write to me. I will pray for you if you need help. Um, if you need uh, comfort or anything or direction, I will pray for you. Have a blessed day. Life is precious. Goodbye.